Why wouldn't? Uh, that's because I don't really believe in Furia that much. Doesn't that really say something? It does. It does. So, no, I'm hanging on desperately to the spots that we have left. <laughs> I don't really care how we get them at this point. I don't care if we deserve them. Nothing, yeah. okay? Just keep, keep, let us keep the spots, please. What's a spot cost nowadays? <laughs> oh, man. So. It's on the line, folks. Furia losing to Legacy. And this A site features Fallen dying fast and a 5v4 post plant for Lin Vision. We are indeed playing Nuke one more time. Both teams with a decent track record. Zachary can't see a damn thing. <laughs> he gets stomped out by Art, who just falls into the back of the site. It's a backstab with the Glock that who gets there in the end. Starry, he'll kill Yuri. And then G tries to throw himself out from Hut. The retake's still moving forward. Time is of the essence, and the Hut control could be huge because now you've got these CTs desperate for the retake that's just not going to come their way. West Melon guarantees it. Lin Vision, strike first. Yeah, shout out to West Melon. West Malone. Um, that's uh, a lot of good energy, obviously, from, from Lin Vision. And uh, their team, just like most people, just like have not rated at all and it's totally fair to say that teams that have come out of the asian rmr or the america's rmrs are going to be worse off than the teams who came from the european one like it's obviously a harder rmr that's not a secret it's just a fact like if you cleared the teams at the asian and america's rmr you're still not going to be considered top top tier at the at the european one you you prove that now you prove that when you get here to play against those teams so it's fine to doubt them i get it it's very understandable that Vision have stuff to prove. But I, I don't think that their... I don't think that their breakout game is that far off. Who are your 0-3 teams? My 0-3 teams are Pain and Legacy. Okay. So, don't hurt me, Brazil. Well, I was, you know, I was... What? I was trying to undo all your hype because I think it would have been hilarious if after that you just said Lin Vision. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would have been hilarious. Come on. I don't Thought really want to slip you, up you like know? that. That's yeah, actually, yeah. Let me just say that's a Connor slip up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that Connor. Uh, uh, I tried. Yeah. I tried. It's fair enough. I didn't consider them. I really didn't. I mean, even just taking Greyhound out of the running, right? I mean, that's yeah. the whole thing. We have been, how long have we been talking about Mongols and Greyhound and Mongols and Greyhound? I am a Greyhound 03 picker, and it's paid off. I'm going to be honest. Now they're not even here. With an upgrade in the form of Dexter. Jeep down to the B site, and guess what? It's free for the taking. These USPs will do nothing. MP9 on art. Didn't really get a chance. Honestly, I watched way less sort of like Asian uh, CS than, you it's know. It's the time zone. The time zone makes it way harder. Just I mean, you don't see them versus international teams as often and everything like that. It's cool, like, looking at the Mongols' basic games and stuff and, like, seeing how much practice yeah. they get in Europe um, and Lin Vision as well. Uh, but I think, like, we're, we're sort of at the point where, like, you know, Tyloo has all the brand value. But, like, if Lin Vision had the Tyloo brand right now, they would have more respect, I think, from people in general, because historically, Tyloo have some of the only success out of the Asian region. Um, but if people have never seen Lin Vision, they can play CS for sure. They can. Type of team that can most certainly catch you slipping on an off day. Yeah, yeah. That's Furia's biggest concern, absolutely, because they've already had half an off day. Mm -hmm. And if you have a full one here, you owe two. You owe two. Now, let's see it. Furia, what do you have to offer in the gun rounds? Envision, what's your approach? Close main, huh? Oh, nice, nice one. Yeah, breaking the smoke right up in Art's vision. Easy 5v4 off that one. You just kind of catch the slow crawl from West Melon on main, but they also allow Starry to get downstairs.
And never, ever, ever forget that as a teenager, Starry 1v5 G2. 16. He was 16 years old. He was 16. 1v5 G2. And then there was sort of like an anti-gaming law that passed in China, which sort of said, like, you can't play a certain yeah, amount of hours. Yes, yes, sir. So he was too young to be able to practice. But now he's 18, so he's basically allowed to play as much as he want, and they spend some time in Europe. So, mm -hmm. like, this is the year that you would expect to see Sorry sort of blossom. We'll see if it comes to fruition. Right now, it's kind of a late B hit that's given time over for the CT rotate. Starry and G ripping the headshots. Oh, man. MP9. And then what? Right? Exactly. SMG. It's going to stop it? I don't think so. Cello, who has had a marked improvement as of late, playing some good CS2, has found good timing as nobody's watching Decon. Nobody's watching this. You're standing back sight and you're not even considering this flank because the Vent player is trying to come down to trade it. Now, Starry's hitting hard, but Cello even harder. And now his back gets exposed. Serato flanking Zacher. There are layers here on single door. It swings. Who swings first? Serato gets a oh, chance. Yeah, that's beautiful. Clean shot out of Zacher. He played that so well. You know, he could have played the hard angle to the wall. Serato would have made him nervous. He was trying to wait until he went up against the wall, but Zacher played it with confidence out in the open, knowing is still going to attack from there. Beautiful 1v2, honestly. And that's actually 3-0 now here as a start for Lin Vision. So as much as I've talked up Lin Vision, Furia are still the favorites. You still expect them to have a good game no matter what happens. And... Uh, you know, you can't let a T side get too wild here. But it looks like another correct call. The gamble towards a fast ramp, and they will waste no time. No hedging. It's a lower hit, looking to take over control, punishing CT's the too, rotations. Though, eh? Fast enough. Yeah, not the best guns to stop this. Oh, oh my god, yeah. yeah, that's good utility, man. Nicely done. Art thinking he's got a chance to get into the shenanigans. It's a smoke, not a wall, my dude. Yeah. And a perfectly played lurk here from Starry, who was holding onto the lobby. Wow. That's a good thing I didn't bet our major spot, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, don't know. I mean, I assumed you made that bet, or you were willing to, because you were just so disappointed, not because you thought Furia will win. But I think they be, I thought they should win. Should win, yes, yes. But I've uh, win, yes. But you I've weren't been, that scared. I've been saying that for a while. <laughs> yeah. Fury should win. We should be more scared about. That's the thing about brand value, you know? Like the mm -hmm. logo I think actually matters. It carries some legacy with it. But the reason that, you know, we fell in love with Furia and where were they seen their most success? It's, I mean, I guess technically it's this lineup like winning Espoo is like the one land win that they have. But is this the best version of the team that we've ever seen? Like, I think when Art was a, was sort of playing better and calling better, that was a scarier team, you know? When Caserato was one of the best, if not, you know, well, one of the best riflers in the world for the year, that's yeah. when this is a scarier team. Well, I mean, you know, this Furia hasn't made top eight at a major. Yeah. The other Furia did in Rio. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, this that, Furia didn't beat Simple didn't on beat land. Didn't beat Navi on land, yeah. In playoffs. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but... Ooh. Hey there, nice shot from Fallen. There's a question right now around Fallen's multi-frags because first shots have connected and then second shots have been sketchy. Yes. And uh, obviously the best of the oppers. Oh my God, what is... Whoa, Art finds that one, okay. Bro was literally looking to a wall for a second there. Like listening for footsteps. Yeah, there was that ancient game, the fall and fall back at a donut. Yeah, that one got you. That one got you a little red in the face. Yeah, because yeah, that was a, a situation like he obviously can play very well, but just it just wasn't clicking right there. In a game that again go, goes overtime. Oh wait, did that game go overtime? We just seen so many today. <laughs> I feel like every game's gone overtime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're playing CS:GO again. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen so many 16s. I don't know if anything's going to give here for Lin Vision. You know, a triple out squeaky late 3v5, maybe you get two kills at the same time and you can actually plan up or go downstairs. Two players here. A lot comes down to your first guy. Oh, they're going to give it a shot. Let's see if they can get those frags. Uh, 
They're oh, not gonna yeah. get their and shot. Let you or oh will they? Oh my god, they actually can. He's through. What? But he's not taking fights. That's a missed chance. G traded right back. Molly burns out. There would have been just enough time if you just kill the hut player. Jesus. But he's pulling a Molly to do what? I. I what are you gonna do with a Molly? I actually have no idea what he was trying to do with that Molly. You got a Molly top hut? Shoot him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was top hut, he should have been shooting him. That's you got a Molly sure. squeaky? Also, he just got spotted, so it's like you're exposing yourself to like very important angles. So yeah, okay. Hey, listen, we're not perfect, okay? <laughs> when I say we, I mean Asians. <laughs> I, I'm not touching that. If that's what you're calling us, imperfect. Okay. You do you. They are the ones who are up 4-1, and uh, that was a round that probably should have had no give at all, so. True, just the fact you got up the, the head and ladder, <laughs> right? That was impressive, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, he didn't think beyond getting up the ladder because he probably shouldn't have gotten up the ladder. <laughs> yeah. So once you're up there, you're in uncharted waters. Yeah. So Fury is first by way of fallen single pick towards ramp. And then that kind of awkward fight between Art and Amelia down inside of the vents, right? That one, mm -hmm. that one felt like it could have slipped away from Art if he wasn't careful. Not taking it away from him. He got his kill, locked in the five versus three. Yeah, you can see like he... Ooh, Ooh and, and nice a one. nice approach from Yuri. He like checked behind him to decon. I didn't know exactly where they would have been. Good pressure outer, but it's not going to stop the cross. And Fallen, he actually finds another freebie towards ramp. And if you're only going to give him the one fight, I think he's going to thrive. Mm -hmm. They're already on high alert about the possibility of the secret cross. Soon to find out, Furia, it's all secret. Yeah. They have given up a lot of strength and options here. Um, but there isn't a huge search coming out of Furia. You know, Fury of Old would be already flanking their spawn, but these days they play a little bit more thorough CS in a more standard way. Okay, this boost. Well, could definitely get him a kill. We'll at least shove one back. Or will climb up into his site. Gets Lin Vision that much closer to the bomb site, which means to the bomb plant, which could throw a spanner in the works. So they now need to open decon before they start approaching control. But uh, it's obviously very scary on a all angles. And as you can see, Furia don't have full information. Fallen even watching his flank, very concerned. Good positioning too, right? They went to decon, but now they're doubling oh. back. And in oh. doing so, that's given time for Yuri. I felt like once they were in one decon, two control, that was their chance to go. Now they're getting swarmed. They've been flanked. Waiting a little too long for my liking, and this one just ends up having no legs at all. Yeah, yeah. They need to, like, prod from decon and then hope that they could get information, maybe tether off of their control guys to get a kill, and yeah. then they could use both sides to pressure the site, but... Because they walked one decon only for him to walk back to control. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, that, that's you've, you've now burned your extra 10 seconds. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, as you can see, that ball was just like, he would have just basically sat holding the control angle the entire time, if not worried about a peek from decon, or that arc couldn't help him. So, got it. Gotta use all the choke points available to you. But that's a hard situation to figure out. 3v5. Furio with another one. Lin Vision with limitations here in round number seven. That's a lot of space for. Ooh, falling. Nice. He's gonna hunt down Zach. That wasn't a headshot? Okay. Got him in the neck. Sure. <laughs> Imagine there was like a like an icon with just the neck sticking out. That'd be cool, like a diagram at the end of the round to tell you where each bullet hit. Art's gonna keep his head down. He's got support. And we'd be Tarkov. Crossfire here and the Molly. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. It's starting to go south. Jello wants to get the hell out yeah, of there. It's the danger zone now, actually. Did he Oof. close the door? I think so. I hope so. Goes for the double door okay, duel okay. and wins it. 
And sure enough, yes, closed it as he sprinted back into the safety of his bomb site. See, that was another situation where they needed to have the decon pressure. Yeah. He already freed up to fight outside, sees the shadow, wins his duel. Cello's got support from Fallen. Oh my god, they actually got both kills. Very nice bounce back into this one. Starry's half health, G's down to 18, but we've He's got, got Yuri and Vents. Right? He has to jump up clock. That's the only way. They have no control on the site. So yeah, he goes up there. And now in the 2v2, it's about figuring out where Fury are coming from. Whoa, Dark thought... and Clock are good places to play from. They let him get here. Right? They let G get off bomb site. They let him slip into the dark. Oh. He sees the shadow, but no. <laughs> Starry just swings out and drops Yuri. Oh, the perfect reposition. And now that he's pinned in here, it's open. He's in the open. G in the open. Luckily trade back by Starry and Lin Vision take a fifth. He does that with low HP. That was a mistake from Dark, obviously. That could have been, I mean, it was a contact play, but from that position, you could pull back. You know, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. But you got Starry. Yeah. And that's the thing. They have uh, X Factor. Yes. Absolutely. And at least being in the open, you know that's going to be the shots. You know he's going to take that fight, and that's, that's Starry's chance to trade. That was actually a nuts round that they won just now. Mm -hmm. Like, even before that 2v2. That was 2v4. Mm -hmm. That was 2v4, folks. There might be some irony in this stage if we got the most representation for Brazil than almost ever. It's like 18 players, the record's 20, but it's the most of any country at this major. Yes, sir. And then Furia are the team that go the least far. Imagine. What a testament it would be to, again, some of the lackluster decision-making of Furia as an organization, in my opinion. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I think they should have scooped never up... Got... They should have scooped out the pain players. They should have got... To, they you didn't got... touch Skulls. You didn't touch Zevi. You, you didn't touch, touch Bigu Zera. Zera. Yeah. They don't want to pay that money, but they were willing to pay a lot... For... for Fallen, for, you know... It's just... Meanwhile, give Imperial a chance to push the envelope here in Copenhagen. And you talked about that, like the other players, like Imperial's players, the new guys from Brazil that are giving a chance, given a chance. How is that not crystal clear? You know, that you want new players to come in. Now Fallen holds the secret line. It's a deep angle. That's one I approve of. Goes back. Oh. There it is. Multi-kill factor. Okay. Fallen. Okay, okay. Plus 700k. Yeah, worth it, honestly. Yeah. Yep. Right there. That's nice fair, enough. fair enough. That's the professor. My fault, my fault. Oof, but while they're trading grenades, they just let somebody slip into garage. And now they're feeling a little uncomfortable. And then Yuri mm -hmm. drops the ball. And Cello's not comfortable. He's got players coming at him from main. He decides that's enough. Oh, okay. Lays down lead for the double kill. Him and Fallen, the ex Imperial players, with a double kill apiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, um, Cello is somebody that I feel like we're witnessing act just get better all the time. Like, I think he... Dude, when he first came into Furia, I was scared yes. for him. Because he was because being he was used up as an, an anchor, yes. and it was not looking no, good. it wasn't. It's true. Now he's got a little more pep in his step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes when they lose, like, when they lost the Cato, and then Fallen did the exit interview, and he was... I think there was, like, a tech issue. And then, like, that was, like, how the, yeah, the game PC ended. Crash. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. But, like, Fallen's attitude, it's obviously a nice attitude to have. But at the same time, he's basically, like, you know, when you play it as long as I have, you see stuff like this happen. So, uh, you win some, you lose some. Mm. And I'm, like, you know, that's nice when you got your two majors. Sure. Yeah, but there's other players on this team that probably hurts a lot more for, you know. Yeah. yeah. So... You, you kind of want that's why the new players type of angle is like you get hunger with that you get guys who are willing to um and i can't imagine a world where guys like caserato and yuri and art aren't still hungry for everything yeah you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. you were talking about in terms of results unrealized potential yeah to a degree that's painful yes I don't take any enjoyment in and saying this, that. And the solution is in the pain. Do you know what I mean? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Now all of a sudden, everybody on this bomb site sweating bullets. Yuri down towards Vent. But oh. there's a player talk Vent <laughs> if he tries to come sides. out. Oh. Amelia. It's a, it's a Vent sandwich and Yuri is the meatloaf. What the? Who let him get down Vent? Where were the other A players? I don't know. But he now, went from main but now look down at the them. Vent. Now look at them. Frozen Heaven, they have Vent. You know what's great with meatloaf? A little West Melon. 
sitting up in heaven. And Lynn Vision get weird. They've walked all the way back up secret into the pinch for the A play. It's the right call. They got a turn case around his attention, oh, and they do. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Could That's it? spacing to a T. That's the, what we were missing in the cohesion when they were taking decon and control at the same time lower. That's what they needed. Two choke points at once. Dude, Lin Vision do some crazy stuff. They do. They do. They get a little wacky. But, oh boy, does it sometimes work. 6-3 T-side versus Furia. That Tech 9 tap. Wow. Into the vent drop? I know. Who let him get down vent? <laughs> that was crazy. Imagine being on the ladder and there's a guy above you and below you. Terrorists win. Six rounds, T-side. And on the eco. All right. Like, of all the positions to be in, you know, it, it, pistol, conversion, you can let those ones slide. A gun round here and there, you can let that slide, but you cannot also sprinkle oh. in this. Oh, man. And then the timing for Gazerado. That was sick. I mean, they made they made noise inside yep. of... Yep. Yeah. Drew him away. Gazerado could have drew, picked one off inside of Mini if his teammate didn't peek from him perfectly. That's, that's cohesion. Oh, we are gaming. Back in, of course, with the buy. At least they can afford that. Three rounds left on this half, and Furia just trying to keep it tied. Best case scenario. And again, they oh just boy. lose bodies inside of the A hit. This death ball from Lin Vision. No plant. And a recovery already. Caserato comes out. Cello gets his. Zakar starts to bring it back. Wait, from they can get that. Oh my god, dude, they just run! They are so elusive. Oh my god, he, he's gonna protect Vent. And he's got the plant. Yeah, CTs actually have no idea this has even happened. So it's gonna be one ramp rotation for sure, probably both. And then they can come late Vent as well. It's planted for decon. So as soon as Zacker gets the information that they're not coming this way, he can just slink down. He knows exactly what they're trying to do. Starry up to the plate once again. Utility for the retake, smoking off control. Starry's gonna have to go back to the double doors. What the hell? Molly through, just breaking out the glass. Lines it up for the bomb, burns some time, but still enough time if they had a kit. But they don't. They're trying to press their luck running forward. K Serato, what you doing here, bud? Round's done, and your gun is gone. This is Lin Vision to a 7 3 lead. Wow. And that's a nice, another nice round. Oh, that decision making man. to go. There is, there is a certain lack of hesitation yes. that you usually only get from a certain caliber of team yes. that we don't anticipate to come from Asian RMRs. Yep. But once you land in that's Copenhagen... That's what I'm saying. They're not Tai Lu. That's what I'm saying. Yep. That's, that's what I'm saying. They're not Tai Lu. They, them and Mongols are once not you, Tai Lu. Once you land in Copenhagen, it doesn't matter where you flew in from, you can put your hands on every other team at this major, and that is what we're getting here to start. 7-3, the advantage over Furia. Yuri, nice press out, bottom silo. Still a little wiggle room for Furia to recover, but they need every round they can get, because there's no reason to believe in that T side. These pistols get swarmed, and it's one thing to lose to Lin Vision, as we've had so many close games tonight, but if you get owned by Lin Vision... On the T side, Nuke? Art dies out. MP9's pistols will find nothing. Cello desperate to hang on. But Lin Vision getting sweaty. They're going to make him wait. There is no quick and easy, sweet release of death. You've got to go hunting. Kind of at a loss for words. I mean, I feel like I've said everything. 
know, got all the venom out when it comes to the disappointing stuff about Furia, the upsides about Lin Vision and seeing it take place. Not knowing how the rest of the game is going to go, but like, look at this T-side already. It's already like, of all the games we've casted so far, the biggest scoreline. This is the least competitive game yes, we've cast exa before. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's the, that's the thing. It's the least competitive game that we've cast so far. Which it should mean that Furia are dominating. So... Well, there's domination, all right. There is. There is. One final attempt to regain whatever it is they can before taking on to the T-side endeavor. Case Serato trying to get around this smoke. It's awesome. risky business, but, I mean, he gets away alive. Yeah. West Mellon, in the meantime, is taking control outside. There's going to be a pistol soon to peek out secret in Fallen's hands. And meanwhile, the outer players, they've lost control of this. Into Garage goes West Mellon. There's a player in credit card. Do they know he's here? Yeah, they do. Okay. Here he's aware. Ramp is uh, open because the rotations are already in place. So yep. Yuri is the important part of this because he's the one free CT outside. Main fight, and great distraction. Yeah. Now what's crazy is you leave ramp open, put it on art, and you've got three players from Lin Vision coming at it, and that fourth's already down secret. Bomb drops into the hands of art, and Yuri can't get into the mix. Fallen down on the bomb site, but just the 5-7. And that secret player slowly coming down. Very well could have caught Case Serato, who instead gets away towards Decon. There is a chance Furia will post oh. a fourth. But that chance getting slimmer by the second. Yuri moves in, takes man advantage back into the Brazilian's hands. And Fallen has oh. slipped beyond them. Oh. Nice tap. Down to 18. 15 to the clock. Starry swinging the double doors. Oh Wait, my god, what? he's going A. Can you get upstairs? He is going A and he has time to plant. Go, 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 go. He's oh got that bomb my down. god. The, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> they chase him down oh and end it. God. But even then, in that position, if he had a molly, dude. how dare you make Fallen and Furious sweat? Yeah. If you had a Molly, that actually. <sighs> scary. Holy smokes. A reality of what this half has been. It has put us into a place where it feels like Furia can just lose rounds like that. Yeah, they already got 2 v 4 They got 1v2'd. This is like the sickest round they've had. All right. And that's the end of the half. No pause, no break, no chance to catch your breath. Right. And now Furia, let's see your T-side. Yeah, let's see your T-side. Because it better be eight rounds back. And, the, and, and, and like the one advantage they have is like the same one that, you know, Glaive's ends had, and that's the experience in situations like this, having someone like fall in on your team, you mm. know? To make a comeback like this possible, it just, it transcends maps and side advantages. It can be who's got the best calling under pressure, and uh, Lin Vision will have to definitely prove that they can win this game, even though they have the advantage of CT side. The difference I tragically point to is that Glaive has shown us already in 2024 and in CS2 that he can still do it. Great run to start the year at a big LAN, a playoffs that we didn't expect Ents to be a part of. And Furious struggles continue here versus Asia's number two. Okay, Serato, 5v4 to start. Starry sees the bomb. Starry's dual Berettas get forced out of the vent. We hear the door swing, we get the lobby push, we've got duels all oh. around this map, and the first one to go back the way of Lin Vision, there's their edge. What? G catches K Serato, the vent is They're continuously so... in flux, they are lost, they are separated, they are stranded, and they are at a huge disadvantage. Fallen's got to pick somebody with him, and he gets nothing. Oh my god, they got furied right here. They literally Done. got furied. Ah, Smashed! Ah! Like a ping pong back and forth between the vents and upper into lower site into one more kill here and there because the CTs aren't scared. They literally got bullied. They got furied. <laughs> oh, these headshots, man. Gee, just. Look at the bombs going downstairs. They had no idea what they wanted to get out of this round. Felt like they didn't know what they wanted. Felt like they didn't know what they could do once things start to hit the fan. Wow.
Good now we were talking about Glocks with Lin Vision to go up 10 4. <sighs> Least competitive game of the day. Could be 10 rounds here for Lin Vision easily. Like, should be. Is there any reason to believe there isn't going to be 10 rounds right now? I don't know. think on a day when Mongols go down 0-2, right? Mongols, the beacon of hope for the Asian region, the one that has come to multiple majors. Greyhound's replacement, a predictable 0-3, some thought. They falter in their opening game to meet Furia 0-1, and now they've got them pinned against the ground. G, just gonna make sure these pistols get nothing going. A continuation of this lack of belief in Furia's ability to come back. They are simply outclassed in all categories at the moment. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, that's five alive as well. Solid amount of money made on this round to set them up. Furia got to dig deep. That's crazy. After all the upsets that we saw today, you'd think you couldn't really top We slip one more for the road. It felt like Brazil was here to clean up, right? Four Brazilian teams, all of them won, except for the Brazilian head-to-head -head that had to happen. The headliner. It's probably fallen that all those other teams are even successful in the first place. One of the few gun rounds we're even going to get to see out of this T-side, and it's oh. a 5v4 instantly, a perfect oh. nade to reveal Cello. You are getting Ooh. destroyed. God damn. You are getting dismantled. You are getting embarrassed by Lin Vision. POV. It's a Brazilian barbecue, but you're the meat. And that meat don't stop coming. Mm -hmm. There is no stopping this Lin Vision. Team desperate for European Counter Strike. Their first major. And when we go back to that Asian RMR, when they beat Greyhound, what a celebration. One of my favorite throughout the RMR cycles. And oh. I mean, the, the pop off moments yes. and the heartbreaks at the RMR is something that pulls on everybody's heartstrings. And it felt like that was their win. And there are teams who come to the major who say the RMR is where it is the most pressure. And so when that, that relief happens, you know, you kind of feel like, oh, we made it. Yes. We got to the major, and teams like Lin Vision could get eliminated from this event without ever putting up a fight, and people would still celebrate their attendance. Yes, but not them. Exactly. But not them. And they're, again, I'm going to say this, they are not Tai Lu. They're because aiming to do better. They're aiming to do international damage. They're, they have big dreams, and uh, you can see it for sure. Because regardless of what region you come from and the overall level of your Counter-Strike, everybody here is a fierce competitor. Mm -hmm. Every single person here has the same damn dream, and that is showing up to a CS major and putting it on the line. And you get fed Furia. Yeah, that's a tough draw. And you feast. <laughs> Top 20 player in the world on screen right now. Yeah, you know, Brazil's I, greatest in-game leader next to him. Yeah, yeah. Kesarot is the, the best player to happen to Brazil since SK Luminosity in 2016. 2015, 2016, there hasn't been a talent like him, period. And Yuri right beside him, but... While going 1-1 doesn't mean you've actually gotten that ticket to the next stage of the major. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you right now, stay tuned, because if Lin Vision closed this out, that's a celebration and a moment where everything in their head clicks. Because if you come here and go 0-3, then all it does is actualize what everybody tells you. You are not good enough to compete at this event. You're yeah. lucky you get to qualify. You take down Furia... Now you have a chance. Now you have a chance.
because you've proven people wrong, even in a best of one. And this isn't some best of one where they, 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 get, they get by by a weird off round. It's MR12, Connor. No wonder they lost. <laughs> this isn't even close. This is a <laughs> clinical shutdown of a team that smashed the Americas region. Yeah. A team that in CS2 finished 2023 with some of their players' first trophy lift. First and it trophy, felt like yeah. 2024 was the return and the reality of Furia coming back. Mm -hmm. It all felt alive. At the start of 24, it felt like Furia were coming back. The last thing I can imagine right now is a Furia comeback. I swear, being the best at RMRs is like being the best at exercising. It's only impressive if you like Danish sports. <laughs> Aerobics, bro. Feeling of defeat that has become a little too frequent for Furia's own liking. There is no star pop-off moment from Furia. There is no big reason to believe. 18-year-old Starry. Two years in the making, gets his chance at a major. Now is two rounds away from dropping him, but Furia, leave it to Furia to find the slightest of rebounds. They get their opening pick. That confidence brews into the A hit. Cello delivers with some headshots. And as G stays posted in heaven, now they sit back. There is some kind of an answer. There might be some nades on the floor to pick up. They're waiting to get mollied. And, uh, You know, immediately they call to not go for it. I think they should just keep a little bit of pressure. <laughs> That's one, two, before in this game is enough. So off the pause and a very simple call here if you're a tick upstairs. Just to shake the doubt off a little bit. Still plenty of work to do. If it was a CT comeback that they could have, so, might be a bit more obvious. Uh, sorry, a bit more predictable or possible, but. Those two guns saved. It's another full buy coming in for Lin Vision. Give it to Caserato to try and get it going. This double kill from Cello. Nice Ooh. headshots. Oh, that's nice. Right? That was nice. Cello has been finding his footing in CS2 and within this Furia team as of late. They catch their footing now. Maybe this one gets a little closer, but 13-4 or 13-5 doesn't make a difference to me. West Mellon. Oh my god, he can't get in the vent. Okay. Loses oh. the duel. Caserado, nice shot. West Mellon tries to press his face down into Squeaky. It gets wrecked. Now Art can cause real problems downstairs. Yeah, but he heard him knifing the vent. So that didn't go broken. Because we talk about calling in the pressured situations, right? Now you've got a player down in your lower tunnels, and you've got to find a solution to get oh, it. But I think Zachar just saw him. Yeah. Art. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, you, God. Oh, God. Dude, oh, come on. Trade no. frags there. There's no way you do something like that, man. That's are you, crazy. Are you crazy? G will get the next one. And then Cello trades right back. Man advantage held on to. Don't get too big for your own shoes. That's actually insane. Why would you ever do that? There are situations where you can definitely get away with a knife. That was definitely not one of them. And now Cello gonna make sure that they feel the pain of this round. Three players up, Furious squeezing down to the B site. They'll try to run it back to A. All of this is heard. That was a horrible mistake. I mean, you see him get back into the vent because he was just walking by control. Obviously, he's watching control steps. Yeah, it would have been funny, 
but of course he could have turned around. Like, what are you thinking, man? Why would you do that? I would never tell my teammates. <laughs> I would never tell my teammate. Hey, man, his teammate was right behind him. You can't hide it. Yeah, that's 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 ridiculous. That's one of those situations where even if he got the kill, he'd be like, what? What are you doing? You didn't win yeah. this game yet. Yeah. Well, now I hope Fury would make him work for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it, man. Yeah, like, that's not cool. Uh, I, went on a, I went on a tie raid, and now all of a sudden I regret it. Who do you think you are? Who was it? Zacher. And he had that okay. 1v2. Like, he had good rounds. Bro. Okay. Why are you sullying it, man? Don't do that now. Okay. Are you crazy? Everybody remembers Zacher for the moment. He's got to he's got to make up for it, you know. And Glaive lost ramp that last uh -huh. round in the last match, and then got the three K in the following. He was thirteen and eight when he went for that knife. Yeah. At an eleven five lead. Okay. Thirteen eight at eleven five. Yeah. Somebody jot it down yeah. and let's pay close attention because now the money's gone. <laughs> yeah. And Furious T side off of a couple kills from K Serato, who has been honestly finding his groove inside of this squeaky door. Oh, I laid it on thick. And now Furia, we're just given a chance back into this game. And as they sit back and relax and let Lin Vision continue to try and make these moves. Oh, one fast step. Nice kill from Zacher. Yeah, he's got it down to three. And they get into the site because they know it's not ramp. Still a minute options here, but oh, Starry's got info outside. They actually know that this is going to probably end squeaky. Like they they know it's not trophy. So yep. M4's in the right place. They could stop this, but oh. gets caught in the fallback. Then West Melon's dead, and that outer deagle is okay. also getting popped. Serato and Yuri putting Oof. their names on this one. Four rounds, the difference. Did we just get a brand new HUD update? For free? That's the Furia comeback HUD. Mm. <laughs> this was just patience, right? This was letting Lin Vision show yeah. their hand. The, the Zachary needed to do everything because he was the one rifle. Yep. yep. So they caught him off inside of heaven. Full buy comes in again. It runs out. Same fight towards Squeaky. Art successfully down the vent. Starry, oof, caught. Ooh. And with the headshot, he's gonna keep it moving in. K Serato just has had West Melon's Ooh. number. He will once again find it. And Amelia can't do much to hold on to this. He's cautious about Hut. He's worried about Squeaky. He's low on HP. They're down by two players. Now, let's not get it twisted. K Serato and Art incredibly low, but it's gonna take somebody to go above and beyond. It's 3v5, so you think Zacher is actually going to continue pushing. I... Holding off a trophy is still pretty good, but you got one guy upper, no rotations lower. Art coming back up, which, you know, if Furia don't uh, think about this carefully, they could run into all three players. Yep. They got close to it in the round prior, right? Sitting in the lobby, holding off on the A play. They just saw the trophy push last round. They know it's a 3v5. And they're playing it down to 45 seconds going outer. Uh, what? Dude, this call is so ambitious. They got out of lobby entirely. Now, Lin could still think that it's going to be in upper hit, but now they're not going to see anything, so... There it is. Oh, Case okay. Rado's lurk. Still 20 seconds. But you've got one guy stuck inside of lobby. You can crank the tempo downstairs with the vent molly, and it's ambitious, but it works. Yeah, they needed an open site, right? If there was any kind of gamble, and the reason is that's dangerous, obviously. If it's 3v5, a team blind gamble stacks is way more common than if it's 5v5 with the time ticking down. An outside cross, it's like a thousand ways to die. So there's uh, basically, it's a it's a risky option. That's all in a dangerous spot. But um, still, obviously, is the open site. So they walk in, no CTs there. Weapons and T's are coming for him. It's 
Sacker flash. Could be the key to hanging on to this. <laughs> he knows he's there. I don't even know. He knows what? he's there. Yeah, what? Yuri killed the player on box. Yeah. Uh, he must have thought the bomb killed the player bottom right. Right, right yeah. That's... There's just so much stuff going on. Right there. <laughs> that was just the craziest <laughs> action movie I've ever seen. I just, I just want to get mad about something. This is nice from uh, Case Serato. Good tracking on that kill and Art Sprag as well. They got vent. They got the kill. Oh, now Stuart Fury will creep the score line back. There's one great round from Lin Vision in the CT side, and it could have been two, obviously. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. So that would have guaranteed. That would have guaranteed overtime. And then if Fury amount to come back, it's a different story. But you let that OT slip through your hands. Ego must be earned. And 11 rounds ain't enough. Pistols will stop. Now you're feeling it, man. Op shot inside of Hut from Fallen. Oh, wait a Zachers second. How do you get another kill? Trying from ramp to push out, but then Hut support comes out. They know that AK's over there. You don't have to go fight Zacker. You really could just leave wait, at any he moment. Actually hit. You could just oh, walk oh, away. Oh, oh, oh. You could have yeah. walked away. You could have no left. Way. And instead, Fallen has given over his op. An op on the best line. Nails and it. That's, that's 12 on the pistoling round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no shot. Do you see Zagger hide from that flash? Yes. Peek out and you get the instant headshot. Did you see the hut player fly up the ladder, jump off the <laughs> roof, and come in through T spawn? And then get the op? <laughs> no way. He still deserves to be reprimanded, okay? We won't forget about the knife. But this is a pretty good way to make up for it. Zacher, what an insane round on the push. That's crazy. Oh, my God. You could have left. Would have put Caserato in a sketchy spot. Wow, everything had to land in the perfect spot. The flash plus the where Zacher tucked into the swing out with the AK. Insane. Holy that is a one of, That is a one-of-a-kind round of Counter-Strike yes, right there, right. folks. That's not going to happen too many times. And they're going to go into the A-Rush, or at least the peak. Now Lin Vision, a small sigh of relief, okay? Took you a few rounds. You have shook off the shame that you should feel. We're going for that knife in vents. And Furia have been mounting a slow crawl comeback, right? These rounds have oh. been meticulously timed. You oh. go chasing down into the lower player, and of course, Amelia's here to help out. You've got two members of Linvision downstairs on B, a man advantage. They're so slow about it. And four kills away from sending Furia into the 0-2 group. Reinforcements are here. Zacher trying to tell his redemption story one more time. Goes down empty-handed, Starry. Forced into a position to pick up the slack. The single door player could pressure, but West Mellon's already low health, and he's just lost Starry towards the double doors. They immediately want to call it off. They're That's out. Like, their calls are so fast with just, okay, wait for our time. Like, wait for a moment where we get the two kills in a row. But the last round they won was that full sort of eco with a very aggressive play. But now they only need a single round. <laughs> that was bonkers, man. I can't believe I'm casting these rounds at a major. <laughs> oh, yeah. But hey. It was like pretty sick overall, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice one from Caserato. He's 
<laughs> seeing that Starry has done this previously, <laughs> just suppressing fire through a smoke and then leaving. I am emotionally invested, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong emotions, man. <laughs> what a weird game to try to get the read on. It felt like it felt like a done deal at one point for Lint Vision. Yeah. And now they're trying to get up the ladder and get this one going. Uh -oh. It's again You never know when it could be the last round. Right? You go running into G oh with a five God. seven up next. No. Sure enough, just like that, Furia thinking that they could just overwhelm and they what? still could. G is locking this in. Trying to chase further, but the return frags are good. Instrumental impact coming out of Cello in this one. Of all the slow, meticulous, slow burn rounds. Okay. And we go charging into rap. Yeah. And this is the this is the round where, you know, it doesn't matter what the guns are. Like they're so worried about all the lurk. Starry gets in the perfect this spot. Is huge. He this can is end huge. it. He can end it right now. First one goes down. You're stuck on the ladder. Art's trying to get the recovery. He's got the util. He's looking for the second CT. He wants He's got a minute to cook. Wow. He's been spotted. He doesn't know where the other CT is. This could be a mistake. We don't know if Art heard that. But he still they both got a push lobby. search long and hard. Yeah. Playing this one together and going for the lower play. They are going to meet Art in lower. They're going to be there in time. With guns. Because they went to ramp. It covers two options. It's a 50-50. Plus they get this. Art, okay. Smoke grenade and a flash. He opens the doors and swing and falls. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. this is no hallucination. This is the real Lin Vision. This is Asia's number two dropping the America's number one. Wow. That is, uh, that's unreal. Now, an emotional roller coaster for multiple reasons. Domination out the.